Permatique Antiquing Agent is a cement-based coloring agent used to antique, stamped, and textured concrete and concrete overlays. Permatique Antiquing Agent is a blend of powders and pigment that is mixed with water and applied by sprayer or brush to clean, unsealed concrete, thus adding a secondary color to the surface and visually enhancing the texture. Permatique Antiquing Agent is the perfect solution for use on hardened, newly stamped concrete, unsealed existing stamped concrete, and unsealed T1000 stampable overlay. Permatique Antiquing Agent is available in 14 standard colors that can be found on the Butterfield Color Permacast and Select Grade Antiquing Release Chart. Permatique Antiquing Agent is available in three pound units. Permatique's normal coverage will range from 2,000 to 3,000 square feet per three pound container. Permatique must be sealed and sealer must be maintained to sustain longevity of the Permatique. Permatique is used to provide an accent color only and should not be used to paint the surface solid. Permatique should only be applied to colored and stamped concrete. Do not apply to broom finished concrete or troweled concrete surfaces. Permatique should not be used on vertical applications. So as you can see, this existing surface is very, very porous. Uh, this concrete has been installed about five years ago and all the sealer is worn, but there is a considerable amount of dirt and debris on here, both in the control joints, um, the stamp joints, and on the textured areas. We're gonna continue to power wash this area. In some applications, uh, you'll also have to do a light acid wash to open up the surface of the concrete. For quite a few applications, you're gonna have to remove the sealer first, then, proceed with the permatique process. The best methods for cleaning are either power washing using a power scrubber or hand scrubbing with a good aggressive brush. As we're washing, we're trying not to damage the concrete at the same time. So depending on the size of the power washer, you don't want to get too close to the surface. The closer you get to the surface, the more damage that can occur by removing that top layer of concrete. So as discussed, every job is going to be a little bit different. The porosity of the concrete is very important. The permatique has to be able to soak into the concrete. Here we have three different types of concrete. I'm gonna show you the type of concrete that is well prepped. When you put the water on it, it immediately soaks in and darkens. However, if you look at this concrete, and when you put the water on it, it beads up, this surface needs to be opened. The direction state that you want to use a light acid wash when opening the surface. If doing so, utilize our CHO cleaner. Here we have a gallon of clean potable water. We have our Permatique. Take one scoop of the Permatique and then mix thoroughly with a mixer. It's important to keep the material agitated and mixed during the process. If you don't, you will have some settling at the bottom of the container and the permatique can become very dark. It's important to clean all of the tools immediately following the application because it's a cement-based product and it will harden both in the sprayer or in the bucket or on your tools. So on this application, we're gonna go ahead and brush the permatique. It's important to take note of how saturated your concrete is with the wash water or the pre-wetting of the concrete. The permatique needs water to flow. So on this application, it's nice and porous. It's holding the water. It's saturated. However, I'm going to do a light misting ahead of time. If you're in the sunlight and it's very windy, the concrete may dry out as you're doing the permatique process. So you want to be sure to pre-wet the concrete ahead of yourself, such as this. Go ahead. Okay. So that you have some moisture at the surface for the permatique to flow. What you don't want is excessive puddling. Give me a puddle. Go ahead. That's good. That's too much water. We would want to then take a rag or blow this material off prior to application. As Jim permatiques, he's going to put an excessive amount of material on and allow it to flow. Now be sure to be careful if you have a slope here because the material will run. The idea is to put a decent amount of material so it settles in the textured areas and the grout joints. 
that will give you your secondary coloring effect. Notice also we've gone ahead and masked or shielded existing concrete. This has a cement based product. It has a binder to it. If you get it on unsealed concrete surfaces or other things like stones or masonry, it will stain them. As you can see, the permatique turns white as it begins to dry. What we want to avoid is excessive puddling that will not look natural with the antiquing, such as this or this, when it dries. So what I'm going to do is just take a rag, or I could come back with a brush, and I'm just going to dab up some of this material. If there's too much permatique, it will also prevent the sealer from getting a really good bond. The idea is to put a thin coat of the permatique and accent the textured areas and the grout joint areas. In the event that you have to walk back onto the job, be careful not to put footprints. If it's starting to dry, you could put footprints. So make sure you dab back over those materials or put some additional permatique on so that your footprints do not show up. So we're here back in the project and ready to seal. As you can see, we have the original permatique in walnut giving you the darker highlights throughout the project. This area is nice and dry, so we're gonna proceed with the sealer application. So we're back and ready to seal. Uh, what I have here is a standard half inch nap roller and roller frame. I have the pan. We have our Butterfield Color Clear Guard Curin Seal, a solvent-based Curin Seal, and we have our Shark Grip. The Shark Grip uh, will help with the slip coefficient of the concrete and is highly recommended on all exterior flat work and stamp work. Uh, we're going to add it to the solvent-based Curin Seal, one pound unit to five gallons of sealer, and we're gonna mix it thoroughly. We will add it then to the pan, and we will go ahead and roll it on. Be sure to follow the recommended guidelines for the square footages per gallon of the Curin Seal. It's very, very important that sealer goes on very thin. Two thin coats is much better than one thick coat. Sealer can also be sprayed. If you are spraying the Curin Seal, the Butterfield Color Clear Guard, uh, recommend using a good quality, clean, um, solvent resistant sprayer and you want to make sure you use the 0.5 GPM tip when spraying. Be sure to, to keep good pressure and could, a good amount of material in the sprayer when spraying. Permatique can be sealed with the following Butterfield color sealers. ClearGuard Pro 350 Curin Seal, ClearGuard Curin Seal, ClearGuard H2O Wet Look. Follow all recommended application procedures as detailed in the technical data sheet and safety data sheet that corresponds to the sealer you are using. All information is available for download at butterfieldcolor.com and at point of purchase.